Alright, basically I'm good with uh, Elizabeth's combo. I want to see what M Margaret is, uh, what I want to see what persona she uses. Oh, she actually uses three persona! Oh, this I gotta see. Okay! Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. She actually uses three persona at once. Yeah, I gotta check this out. I guess like one for strong attack, one for light attack, one for combo, right? Let's do a dash, okay. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Alright. Don't know what that did. Okay. Okay, alright. Alright. So that's not a grab. Oh, alright, fine. Okay. Like, her combo is not as big as uh, Elizabeth. Right, let's see this one. Okay. Okay. Who are you summoning? What the? He summoned Luc. She summoned Lucifer. Jesus. Okay. All right. Margaret summons Lucifer for her final. Sure. Alright, we're on 94%, so Elizabeth's story uh, contains 6%. Sure. Which in the endless darkness are scattered countless uh, bright lights, like a, a nebula. Those lights are not stars. Each one's the light of life, the gleam, uh, gleam of man's soul. This is a world inside people's hearts place where every human consciousness is connected and can be traced into their origin. Every memory since the death of man and uh, even those on the ladder's evolution slumbers here. Some think this place is a, as a sea. They might be cracked. Depending on how deep you go, you might see this world endless landscape in, uh, and <clears throat> innumerable faces. Where I stand now is one the uh, further step. The domain has exceeded uh, before life became sentient and even took form. Here, there's only darkness and death and radiance of life. I came here at times for a very important object objective. Suddenly, a patch of darkness surged and uh, on the, only the pitch black substance swells between the tower like uh, consistency and quickly takes shape of a giant arm. Oh, you're here to visit the Persona 3 protagonist. Nice. I This is the final boss of the Persona 3, the answer. This is got get an evil proceeding in a man's heart. There's a negative uh, force here, the Sea of Souls, uh, tempting man's corruption and destruction. 
The one uh, person's malice may uh, uh, may amount to, to life. There's billion people in the world. Uh, actual common monster capable of destroying mankind to develop which uh, anyone realized. This is one of them. Though it was only an arm at first, it quickly developed into an enormous human shaped torso. Human shape? What What part of this thing is human shape? Even the uh, space where it's down on the flood, uh, the resentment filled the rural constant air to shake. Monster dredges an enormous arm towards the heavens and destruction power to tear down the mountains. But it suddenly stops. Something is blocking its movement. I am, to be precise. You might uh, think I'm uh, no nowhere to be seen. Truth, even the monsters may be thinking that. But like to direct your attention to the fingertips at the end of this giant arm. Closer, even closer than that. Keeps going closer all the way to the index finger. There. Do you see me now? Have I forgotten to introduce myself? My name is Elizabeth. I fix my gaze upon the two uh, lines that seem uh, to be the monster's eyes, but uh, twists away trying to resist. <sighs> Do you wish to behold death that much? I grab the monster's index finger, and in one motion I flip his enormous body and throw it into the air. The monster cries out in agony and the area quicks again. Oh dear, it seems it won't be easy for one of these sides. I cannot damage the world of everyone's hearts, and I hesitate to make a scene in the real world either. Time for a change of scenery. I open the elegant grimoire in my hand. A large blue magic circle forms behind the... Uh, uh, behind the throne monster, swallowing the uh, gargantuan uh, figure, I follow him in. Wait, are you gonna fight? Uh, contentual, uh, trembling strain of light, darkness flow past the monster and myself. Eventually, I speak up. Wait, like, is the final boss? Because the final boss keeps saying, like, he's not human. It's not human. Like, is that this monster? Another magic circle appears altogether a different kind of black void than the one that we came from. The monster is flat out here to when it crosses the surface, a, a cloud of dust rises. I emerge from the magic circle second and rise into the air. On the horizon beyond the monster, I can see a deep blue sphere. Oh, you, you put it into the moon. Yes, this is now, the moon. Figure appears behind me, bearing several coffins. The God of death, Thanatos. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I, he he met that before. Uh, uh, like at least in my canyon, because I thought I guess was this thing, and I guess was using Santos. So, like the star shines of the dawn, so sort of gleam. Uh. Was it to your liking? Well, farewell. Flings the sword down the monster's head. Again, the fearsome sight, the sword barely larger than a needle, but the sword miraculously uh, sharpens, pierces uh, far beyond the blade's length. The monster's body uh, slides apart uh, like wet paper. With your final death cry, the monster slowly dissolves and evaporate as black mist. Uh, the flying silence returns to the area. The break quiet, a tune place on my lip. I create a magic circle in the air and they, uh, step through it. I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't remain long in this world without the real objective. This is not the world I belong in after all. My master has a large nose. I was once a resident of Velvet Room and served as master. Dark blue clothes I wear, uh, uh, is from that time. All the residents uh, has their roles, and they have also on their own journey. We help our guests grow as people, and though the help we offer, we cannot understand the ultimate question. It's a fundamental question, who are we? Thinking back on it, I spent so many days like that for such a long time. I had thought that it would be impossible to change. But two years ago, I finally reached my answer. 
One's identity cannot be、uh, thought out. It must be forged by oneself. Something you、uh, you build little by little. People call the problems or、so、potential, and by mastering it, people develop their、uh, unique identities. That's the understanding I came to. So it seems I had、uh, I should believe my own potential, the wonders of pursuing my desires. Wasn't hard to con- con- to,、uh, con- to come to. So why abandon、uh, my assignment, the role, and part of my long journey? I have to set the objective for myself to defeat the monster I fought moments ago, once and for all. I vanquish it then, but there is only temporary. Surely resurrect within a year again, and I'll go through today once more. Yeah, 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 y
and turns towards it. Come, challenger. I wave my arms about in anticipation, but something seems a bit odd. Is that Lab Labrys you're finding? I close my eyes and can tell uh, while she may appear to be a human girl. Something about her is aim amiss. I sense an uncanny uh, disconnect from her memories and consciousness not seen in most people. Is she truly... Now that I'm here, I can sense powerful uh, combatants gathering one by one. If such power were to be used in this fullest uh, clash of skills, the result could be life-threatening. This place is not meant for such a girl. If she were to be drawn to this, so there would be a worst case scenario. I make my way towards the girl. Is this the way out? Is this a way of Alice telling us once a Persona game is over, the uh, Velvet Room attendants, like Igor, moves on to the next one, but like the Velvet Room attendants can just do whatever they want now. Uh, as I approach her, I, be uh, I begin to hear voices. It seems that she is calling herself Student Council President. I shine down the end of the hallway where she's walking directly into her view. The girl gives me a slightly questioning look, but no more. She comes uh, towards uh, me, uh, garrulously. What? Hey, excuse me. You got some reason to be at our school? Up close, I can tell her at once. There's no doubt this girl is not human. Yet she seemed to be under that impression. The ordinary resident of this place seems to believe that she is as well. But of course, this is impossible. That this connect as since earlier must be related. No matter how unusual her circumstances, such extreme grasping in uh, awareness or awareness are no mere uh, figments of imagination. It's possible, but normally these uh, distorted view of reality have equally distorted emotions. I do not sense that in her. Her emotions are in balance, only her memories and awareness fell short, like your crop, uh, the belt, uh, I don't know what that is. Falling behind a uh, list, I fix my gaze upon the girl before me once again. She did not came here for free will. Then the event here may be more sinister than I imagined. Are you sure this is how things should be? Huh? What are you talking about? I am a wanderer who only stopped here because I sense great power gathering. I am in no position to give advice, but um, this place will soon be caught in a bit of a fracas. If you continue to avert your eyes from everything, I think it will have an impact on your life in the near future. What? My life? What you choose is up to you. But I believe there are factors preventing you from making the right choices at the moment. I couldn't bring myself to just stand by and watch as you lost your life before my eyes. That is why I came to you. So I could give you one last chance. She has most likely forgotten who she is. I see something shining, slumbering deep in her heart. It's the glow of the bond. Uh, no one who has been risen in the velvet room could mistake it for anything else. Before she forgets herself, she must have uh, had strong feelings about someone or has made a promise to them. But I will leave it to her to remember what it, is, what it was. I hold on my persona compendium uh, as it hangs... Uh, Hand it, hand it to the girl and opens it. Opens pages. Light stream from it washes over her. The light dispels the girl's false image and illusion that made her seems human, though she though she is not. Huh? What is this? Her true form revealed. Uh, it's a gleaming mechanical body. Her arms look like steel plates covered covering them. The girl frankly pokes on them, tried to tear them out. <laughs> Most likely, I will uh, not get through to her, which won't work alone. 
only by being forced into a confrontation will she finally be able to understand. She already knows how to use uh, steel limbs, which she surprisingly never uh, before seen. Away we go. 